Starting at guard from La Paz Leite, number six, Chris Ross. The other guard from Bautista Pangasinan, number 77, CJ Perez. And forward from Tabaco Albay, number 91, Rodney Brandial. The other forward from Ilopo Sur, number 13, Marcio Lassiter. And at center from Pinamongahan, Stebu, number 15, Junmar Fajardo. Northport, Batam Pierre. Starting at guard from Ibahay Aklan, number 11, Chris Rosales. Also at guard from Pampanga, number 24, Joshua Munzon. At center from Tuguegarao, number 37, Demi Contapai. And forward from San Carlos Pangasinan, number seven, Xavier Lucero. And also at forward from Ono Rizal, number 10, Arvin Tolentino. Right, so best of luck to you, kid. Uh, <laughs> and I'm sure, you know, it, it, it still helps because you will learn from this from this uh, matchup against uh, Junmar Fajardo as CJ Perez quickly. The inside attacking is guaranteed like he's done that if ever since college as Chris Ross also hits a three-point shot uh, in the open floor Munzon versus CJ Perez a couple of former first overall picks of course both uh, used to play for Terra Firma Perez now goes to the crossover eludes the defense goes underneath the arms of Xavier Lucero at the nine now Right, Northport mixing it up here with some uh, backward pressure, but CJ breaks it so easily. Munzon giving him a lot of space. As Junmar finally gets a touchdown low. Defense converging on him, but it was way too late to stop him. He gets his first touch and he scores uh, easily, even with the help defense. 14 to 9, a five point lead for SMB, their biggest of the ball game. Puntapai launching and converting from downtown. They're still sticking to that matchup. Valentino being defended by the smaller Chris Ross. And another three is good again for Puntapai. And that's what we were talking about. You pick and pop against Junmar's uh, defender, and Junmar will have a hard time uh, chasing after that uh, three point shooter. And already three. Three-point shots attempted by Kuntapai, making two, and Marcio gets it right back on the other side. He is now 56 away, 1,242 for Alan Kaidik and 1,250 for Jimmy Alabag. So you know what, Marcio, I think, will be gunning for that number in the very near future. And that is within reach uh, for sure for Marcio. Rosales launches, that's off to the left. As Fajardo picks up the rebound, it's 19 to 17. A two-point lead for SMB. Make that five coming from Marcio as he jumps. And, and, and that is obvious for, for San Miguel Beer. Because as good as Jumar Fajardo is, he is dangerous as a passer as well. With CJ Perez now. Maybe that is how he wants to lead the squad out of their slump right now, losing their last three games. What a pass coming from CJ Perez. And he had a big target in Junmar Fajardo. It's just a nightmare. What, what do you do when there's a CJ Perez, a Junmar Fajardo pick and roll, and that close to the basket? Yeah. That is almost uh, impossible to defend. Van Nieu sends the ball out. Three-point shot on the way. It's good for Arvin Tolentino, his second of the match. Perfect time for Arvin to be aggressive. As San Miguel has already erected a nine-point lead. Trulliano in the ball game. As he lost it on the way up, the tap is won by San Miguel. Another three for Marcio. It's good again. He has 11. And off a broken play, CJ spots uh, Lassiter. Three three pointers now in the first quarter for Marshall. So he is 54 away <laughs> from the record <laughs> of the mighty mouse, the incomparable Jimmy Alapag. Paulo Ta sets it up to Fran Yu. Could not respond, but there he is. Arvin Tolentino thought he had that shot in. To the ball game. Kate Flores will do the same for Northport as Perez issues an assist. His third assist of the match. 
Pablo Taha gives it up. Flores can't get it to drop, but Ben Adamos is there for the follow-up. Going one-on-one -on -one against Franju, uses the brush screen from Trolliano. Perfect setup, Don converts from deep. Another three for SMB. They, they, they should try yep. to score, yep. five against four. Yep. But they missed their chance. Flores with the extra pass. Navarro blocked from behind, and now SMB will get the chance to score one last time here in the first quarter. Trolliano beats the buzzer with a layup. And he is doing it in a variety of ways. Three-point shot. That was an offensive uh, put back there for CJ. What a block from Tautua. And now SMB is off and running. Trolliano steps into a three. That's good. Bulanadi with the pass down low. They kick it out. Jeff Chan could not get a clean look. Dribbles in closer. That is way off coming from Jeff Chan. Still dealing with a right calf uh, situation. But because of the injury suffered by JM Kalma, he has been activated. Oh, good steal here. Coming from Alin Bulanadi as he will lay it up for another basket. He has four points on the bench. Had to pretend he was not able to touch it. Tautua off the spin in that small chicken wing just yep. to make sure Cade will not be able to challenge from behind. Yeah, and that's experience for you in the part of uh, Tautua. He did rely on his strength uh, to get that shot. So that's way off coming from Bulanadi, but Paul Zamar is there to save the day. So with the Hesse, Juliano has it now, sends it out to Tautua. They swing it, CJ fakes the three, takes this one, and he will convert. How about 16 sweet points for CJ in the first half? But if you're in North Fort, you'd rather promote Tautua to take that three, but they charged out onto Tautua and left uh, CJ Perez open. 48 to 33, a 15-point advantage now for the Beermen. Romeo picks it out to Mo. Tautu also launches. You were saying, Coach? <laughs> I take it back. <laughs> sudden, as the three-point shots have just fallen for the San Miguel Beerman. Nine three-point conversions already. This was number eight. to be in single, especially because the playoff, playoffs of the NBA just started. Astroliano keeps it coming from downtown. Not an ill-advised <laughs> shot, but... Uh, it's Simon and Cizo, and he was uh, that's feeling what, good. That's what he wants to do. And yeah. Zamar, and you cannot expect the same things to work game in and game out. And, and these are all offensive numbers here for from Northport, and those are numbers that are very difficult. Uh, to Nine points for Mota Otua. As Joshua can connect from downtown Trolliano with the rebound. SMB, they have the numbers. Terrence attacks middle. Kicks it to the corner, and CISO, another three! 69-46 for SMB. Simon with a jab step for space, and he hits another one. Marcio left open, unmarked. How could you not have someone in front of Marcio? Yes. And I like the way Arvin has challenged some uh, baskets here, some fast big attempts of uh, San Miguel. Paraiso also converts. In order for you to get respected on the offensive end, that's what you should do. You should be a force on the offensive glass. And Chris Ross <laughs> makes that shot. In that kind of game for the San Miguel Beerman number 16 now. Really inching closer and closer to that all-time record. Arvin goes to Dami, Kuntapai fakes again. He takes the shot, and he makes another one. His third triple of the ball game. With that from Kate Flores, Arvin sends it to Paraiso. Another three on the way. It's long this time. CJ against four. He might have gotten hit on the face. It doesn't matter how many oppose the apex predator of the PBA. CJ, the numbers were not... In your favor, and look at that, got clocked in the face, still kept his composure, scoring on the layup, drawing a foul, and now he's about to take. And so for the next two quarters, the coaches urge, urge them to go back to their strength and identity of having great transition defense.
to believe that they can compete and just to chip away at their deficit one possession at a time. Back to you. We're seeing some fight coming from Northport, but how do you even try to contend with this barrage of points? Uh, giving it right back to CJ. Three-point shot, that's short. He gets his own rebound, and Rodney <laughs> scores another set of second chance points. Now. Six points in the match. Perez, three-point shot is good. Number 17 for SMB. Torleano to Lassiter. They post up Jumar. And CJ Perez scores inside again. They doubled up CJ Perez. That's just an easy pass. You, you, you can't do that. And then Jumar, he's too good already to, to try and double team him uh, that way. Jumar, Jumar easily uh, recognizes the double team. Three point conversion for North Fort. Number 10 now. Okay. Three point shot. Corner. No. But Junmar is there for the rebound. Fardo. All three defenders against him as they take the ball away. That forward pass is snapped, but recovered by Bulanadi. Save to Chris Rosales. And this will be an easy two, like SMB did in the third quarter versus Converge. Jeron Tanks splits the double. Attack. Sneaky layup is good for the end one. Here's Jeron Tang. On that uh, pick and roll coverage, no help from Bulanadi, no help from the other side as well, from Lucero, because you have CJ on the other side and you have Perez. That has been the offense for the San Miguel Beerman, Rosales. Oh, got the ball stolen by Terence Romeo, and Terence oh, will not be able to put up a shot. Secures the board for SMB. And Ciso to Jeron Tang. Good pass back looking for answers in this game but even with the team in a 35-point hole entering the fourth quarter coach Bonnie presided over that timeout with a lot of calmness and positivity he urged his players to execute with precision and and reminded them to not get frustrated even when their opponents score a basket what he needs from his players now is to shift their focus on maintaining their composure and to generate scoring opportunities of their own Carlo and coach Mark oh Mo Tautua with a jam Perfect way there to run a pick and roll. Simon to Mo Tautua, and here comes Trolliano. Don Trolliano keeps it very, very safe that time around. <laughs> to Trolliano. Now Terence has it up top versus Munzon. Terence had the ball swiped away from him. Jorge Munzon completes the play with the layup. So I will not be sleeping tonight. Dallas is playing at 3.30. That should be a good series. Uh-huh. Strong move coming from Motau Tua. I think uh, well, Arvin has been attacking. You have to give credit to how he changes offense. Is not has not fallen in love with the three-point shot, at least in this ball game, as he has 18 points, nine boards, and four assists. Well, you have to adjust when you become suddenly the point of attack player for your team. So a lot you have to attack ag aggressively on the offensive end and not just settle for three pointers. Arvin will score another one here. Well, they got good minutes coming from Kuntapai, coach. Yes. Uh, at least you have, you know, a pick and pop time. But I'm sure there will be some match of the day. They will still play uh, together, maybe some against bigger teams like Barangay Nebra. The next soft goal now for Northport is not just to make it to the playoffs, but somehow sneak into the number six spot because you do not want to have that twice to be disadvantage in the quarter. Yes. We need to see that Northport team that was defending like nobody's business. Yung halos hindi makatawid yung kalaban nila from the midway line. Exactly. And they needed to do something uh, different, something special, whether it's uh, playing with a lot of energy or a lot of using using your quickness and your athleticism because that's how you beat San Miguel. Right now it looked like they wanted to just you know, exchange three-point shots early. Blackwater on May 1, Meralco on May 4. Those are their four games remaining. So if you're Palangay Nebla, you want SMB to do you some favors here. Amores will secure another unmolested basket. Lead is down to 20. This was, what, I think 39 was the highest lead of San Miguel. 
getting a little bit uncomfortable between Terence Romeo and Jana Morris. As Jeron Teng wants to take William Navarro one on one. He is denied. Great block coming from William. As Amores is blocked by Terence Romeo. <laughs> Told you things were going to get interesting. And that will be the end of this ball game. Tremendous performance, top to bottom, for the San Miguel Beer.